Welcome to the complete guide to editing a video podcast for beginners. In this tutorial, I'll be breaking down how to edit a podcast with multiple angles. And then we're also going to be talking about how to create a social clip with captions so you can upload it to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook Reels, or even YouTube Shorts. So let's get into it. You got to just press record. Now, anytime you edit video, generally speaking, it's really important to stay organized. And so here you have the folder to the video podcast, and I have the three different angles in the folder. So we have the white Wide angle, my angle, and then we have my guest's angle. His name is Sean. Once I drag them into this folder, I name them who the person is so that when I'm referencing them in editing, I could see it clearly. And then as far as the audio file goes, I do have three files because I use a Zoom recorder to capture this conversation. And it actually does give me a master file, so I'll be using that. And now because we're all ready to go, we're going to open up Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I'll be using to demonstrate these principles. We're gonna start a new project here and I like putting all my files in the same folder. So I'm just gonna choose that same location on the desktop in the interview, and then I'm gonna title it Sean Interview. Boom. So now it's time to drag in the files that we're going to be working with. I'm going to select the three angles that I need and then the master audio file, and I'm gonna drag that into the bin. And then once I have these files, I'm just gonna select them all, right click, and then select create a multi-camera source sequence. This is now going to consolidate and sync everything and put it all in one sequence. So I'm just gonna entitle this Sean interview, but everything is good to go if this matches. You wanna make sure the audio is selected, track channel one and all that stuff. I'm gonna hit okay and then Premiere is gonna do its thing. But as you can see, it kicks out a sequence file uh, right here that's called Sean interview. I'm gonna right click that and I'm gonna hit open in timeline, boom. Now I am met with all my files in one timeline and they should be synced. This is the place where you need to make any and all tweaks to the color of your video, the framing of your video, and if you even wanted to edit some of the audio in regards to some audio effects. So in this case, you could see there's my clip, there's Sean's clip, and then there's that wide clip. So I am gonna make some quick tweaks before we get to actually editing this video podcast. The first tweak I'm gonna make is actually a color tweak. So I'm gonna just color correct a little bit of this. I'm gonna change my window to color. It's a little warm, so I'm just gonna cool this guy off till the walls look fairly white right there. Let's go to his clip. His clip looks pretty cool as far as color goes. My shot is a little bit further than I'd liked it to be, so I'm just going to zoom in my shot, going to the effect controls and scaling it and zooming it in, frame it up right. So we're just we're just getting the foundations right. The first thing we're gonna do is actually trim down the front end of this clip to right when I intro it. So I'm just gonna create a cut here and slice all the way through. And then I'm just going to delete all that. We can also delete these audio files. You know, we can delete it just so we can have a cleaner workflow. The next thing we're gonna do is right click that same sequence we can actually hit new sequence from clip. And so now we're gonna enable multi-cam view by selecting this right here. You can see all the various angles right here on the left. If you don't see that icon, just hit the plus button and make sure you add it to wherever. Seeing this is super helpful because now we're gonna switch it in real time, almost like it's a live production. Now you could see these numbers here on the top left. If you don't see it, you can right click and add the overlays. Number one is this angle, number two is this angle, and number three is this angle. I'm gonna just hit one, two, three, you could see that. So we wanna start on my shot. I'm gonna hit the space bar and we're gonna just start cutting. So what all does it take to become a full-time YouTuber if you're a musician, maybe a singer, or artist, one second, one second, one second, one party? That can be kind of sketch. It can be. It can you be. You know, I feel the vibe was on. Yeah. It was on point. No, for sure. Instantly. Uh, this is Sean Daniel, who has a YouTube channel. So I'm going to stop and then zoom into the timeline. You could see that those cuts were literally made in real time. Let's say you made a mistake in this regard. You can just back up to where that, right before that mistake happened, and then just start from there. And the changes you make while you're watching it back will overlay those mistakes. Now, the next step that I would actually encourage you to do is to simply just take a moment from your video podcast, whether it be 15, 30, or 40 seconds, and use that as the hook to your video podcast. And then you can just put coming up at the bottom left of the screen because people know that's what they're about to get into. And you can also add 
music, which leads me to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is the music that we love using here at Think Media. And if you're looking for royalty-free music, then you wanna check out Epidemic Sound because they have an incredible library of not only just songs, but also sound effects. Maybe if you have a logo fly-in or if you wanna transition from your podcast into an ad read, you can put a whoosh effect. If you wanna check out Epidemic Sound, we actually have a special promotion that we are doing with them. And you can check out all that information at Think Media Sounds dot com or just check out the link in the description below thank you epidemic sound for sponsoring this video let's create a social media clip from this conversation so the first thing we're going to do is create the sequence for our vertical video so we're going to go file new sequence and your traditional video format when it comes to 1080 video is 1920 by 1080 we're going to reverse that 1080 by 1920. We're gonna call this vertical and then we're gonna hit okay. Now we have our sequence. So we're just gonna go back to our edit and get a moment that stands alone by itself and it shouldn't be more than about a minute. So I did find a moment, I think it's longer than a minute, but we will shorten it down. So I'm gonna just hit Command C after selecting it, paste it in the vertical sequence. Now you can just frame the shots. Make sure that I'm either a little bit zoomed out. This wide angle shot, you know, if he's talking, I can just scoot it over. So now we're gonna add captions to this clip so people can read what it is we are saying. So we're gonna hit window, text and then i'm going to select transcribe sequence and then i'm going to select transcribe in and out point only so i'm going to hit transcribe and for the most part they do a pretty good job and so i'm going to hit create captions i like the single line and then we can just hit create so now we got all these captions but you could see how it's you know on the bottom of the screen so i'm just going to double click on this caption and it's going to open up the ability to edit this caption i like having all caps on the caption i like putting it generally in the center of the frame as far as the font goes i like using helvetica bold what's cool is you can create this as a style so it's affecting all the rest of the caption so i'm going to hit create style and then once you're ready to go you're kind of ready to render out this clip from the podcast and post it on social media. We're gonna go to export high quality 1080 and then I'm gonna make sure we match source. If we don't do that, then it's gonna give us the black bars. And then you wanna make sure that you burn in your captions. So under captions, make sure this is selected, put it in that same folder that we're at and then we could render it, export. If you're at this point, you're kind of ready to export both the video and the audio and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is mark the in and out point of your conversation. So I'm gonna hit I and then I'm gonna go to the end of the video and then mark O. Now we're just gonna head over to the export tab and the first thing we're gonna export is the audio file itself. So we're gonna change the file format to MP3 and then change the destination to make sure it goes into that folder. We can title that Sean Interview Audio and then we can export that file now that you have the audio file ready to upload and then going back to export the video podcast. So I'm gonna just hit high quality 4K, export that file. And essentially that is all the basics you need to know when it comes to editing a video podcast, editing its full length, its audio, exporting those things and then creating a clip. And if you got value in this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to check out another video from us here at Think Media, go ahead and click or tap the screen. I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.